Today's episode of Reading Your Confessions, I had a classmate who would do disgusting shit flashing me, showing her used pet, ate her dandruff-filled hair. Oh my god. I got this dude in my secondary school, right? He will go to the toilet, he play with <laughs> Did your classmate also flash you in primary school? This is your daily catch-up. Okay, so in today's episode of Reading Your Confessions again and reacting to them, we have Dan and John. Yay, hey, welcome Hello. me. Hello, and me too. And Alison again. Hello. All right. So today, the topic is disgust. Oh. Okay. Okay. I okay. have no, no idea why. why. We invited. Okay. Dreams. Yeah. And the topic is submitted by them. Uh. <laughs> so, okay, okay. Uh-huh. By the yeah. community. Okay. Okay. So the story begins like this. I had a classmate girl in primary school who would do disgusting shit in school, like flashing me. <laughs> Harassment? Showing her used pet to everyone during recess. Huh? During recess, huh? ate her dandruff-filled hair. And after <laughs> her crush threw away his green tea packet, she would take it out of the trash when he wasn't looking and collect them in a clear box, which she displayed confidently in class every day. But I don't think it's poka. Poka is the best. Nobody would do that poka. Um, <laughs> she would suck on them and always show off to me how many straws she had collected. <gasps> Suck on the straw. I had to bear with this for two years as the teacher put me beside her to talk to her. I wonder how she's doing now and how I could have helped her last time. <laughs> what a nice oh. way to round it off. Oh. The OP guy or girl? Girl. Because the teacher forced them together. Ah, uh, correct. Right, 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 mm. right. uh, but you all never sit next to girl, man. I was in a boy's school, but I think I was sitting next to a girl. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> have you all been in a mixed school before? Yes. For the rest of for, yeah, my entirety of life. Okay, and then you've also been in a girl's school for a period of time, right? Yeah. This behavior, right, of Not flashing, normal. showing used pet. Not normal. Eating dandruff. Not normal. <laughs> okay. I hope these guys okay. are watching. Compare <laughs> dandruff, I think it's still quite cool. You Compare know? dandruff. Like, eh, dandruff, then like, see. You all got dandruff in what? Like, like, when you're no. students. Yeah. Okay. No, but yeah, I, that's I, fine. Okay, that's just <laughs> life. No, I think com- I think comparing okay, but if it sorry, sorry, how do you compare the drop? Like how, no, how do you eat it? Like imagine you very close to your friend. Then somehow you know sometimes you will pluck one dendro for a damn big one. It's like, like a flick. Like you know, sometimes it's a flick, but sometimes it doesn't break, right? Then it becomes like wow, you pull out, and then it's one big. It's circle. like fat bastard then in like, Austin Powell. No, no, go member. Go member. Then you'll be like, hey, look. It's so gross. <laughs> It's I like don't think it's gross, ah. It's okay. impressive. It's impressive. Wait, so what's the biggest you had? Uh, like five cent coin. I was oh like, oh my god! I was like, am I flicking? <laughs> <laughs> you are drying up. <laughs> no, I was like, oh my god! But I think showing is okay. If I eat it, it's gross, ah, right? Okay, I got confession. Oh my god! <laughs> I have a face where I eat my my pizza. <laughs> <Jared is open>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, how old? Young like my parents told me I don't remember. But I, but I believe. Sure. But you remember the taste? I would think so. Salty lah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's come on, right? So, yeah. Actually, everybody tried before, right? No, I've definitely tried it. Uh, but my parents told me I had this face where they had to like, like when they're eating, right? Then they have to check on me, then they have to. <laughs> you got <they're> eating again. <laughs> <laughs> I got this dude in my secondary school, right? His favorite thing to do is he sits at the back of the class, then you're like, John. John, or whoever the f. Right? It's not always me, lah, okay? <laughs> Then, then you turn around, right? Then he's holding his dick in his hand. <laughs> 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 I, I can't jump with that That's guy. That's a no? Like he's a teacher, you know. Wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> <big man>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think about this guy a lot. <laughs> like, um, every few years, right? I will just go to Facebook or go to LinkedIn. I will search his ass and figure out what, what career has he chosen. <laughs> because he's ape shit one and he will go to the toilet. He play with his poop. Like, I don't know whether he gets a kick out of it or he's just trying to entertain us because he thinks it's funny. But it's not really funny because after that, we kick his ass. You know what I mean? So it can't, it can't be that fun. But whenever you go to the toilet, then he, he'll be like, hey, I left something at the toilet counter. Then he uses his poop. He make a f***ing, like a, like a shit tower. <laughs> oh! And he's so tall. He's such a big guy. He's like bigger than all our teachers, you know. He's the guy that got me in the police station. Do you all remember that story? Mm, Same guy, ah. So all this, the shit guy, big guy, shame guy. Now teacher, that guy. Oh okay. my God. What's cool? This guy, he got good news, yeah. This guy stole my phone. Told one of my closer friends that he he got he like, hey, see, still that who's John one. Huh? I don't think it was a secret that that, that guy and I tied one. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, I was looking for my phone frantically already. And that guy was helping me find. Yeah. And so he that guy told me, yeah. then we go to the toilet, we kick his ass. Okay. Yeah, but the first time he stole, or second time he stole my phone, he sold it. He managed to sell it. He but sold after, it. Then after that, he admit. 
Uh, okay. Then when you steal someone else's phone, sold their phone, pay me. <laughs> that guy, call police. Huh. Oh. Trace, trace, trace the money to me. I am drug lord. Oh, oh. 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 no. Source, yeah, I'm the ringleader the that is deploying minions to steal phone for my profit now. Wow. Yeah, that was when my mother had to build me out of, of Bado Police Station. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, criminal. I'm a criminal. Yeah, no lah. Then after that, oh, no, we explain quite everything lah. Yeah. How yeah. old are you? Quite old, eh, like 16 or 15. <laughs> <laughs> Damn old, eh. Wow. Level, that's yeah. crazy. Wait, He's a the, teacher, eh. That's mad, eh. So yeah, the, the mad. part that I was more interested about, right, is that he will go and shit, he will build something, he won't flush, he will go and say, hey guys, check out my Dude, it's not even in a cubicle, the shit's on the countertop. <laughs> 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 Shit. Like I, I, I'm not manly enough to hold my own shit in my hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I feel like, like if you change your son's diaper, right? Yeah. And then it feels heavy and warm. You pass to me. I will help you throw, but I already very icked out by it. Same. Yeah. No, you see, that's crazy as your son. Eh. Yeah. Like I will oh. go and wash my hand through, yeah. To pick up my own shit. That's Man, and in the same parallel in secondary school, I had another friend. Okay. What school is this? Yeah. Took a shit. <laughs> don't go. Took a shit and I think don't have toilet paper. Okay. Okay. Ran out of toilet paper as they do like in secondary school. Yeah. So what some guys do is they either live with it, then they go out, find toilet, then they go to another toilet and yeah. clean. They use their uh, socks, underwear and wipe. Yeah. Then and they, they just throw away. away. Yeah. Mm. What this guy did, which I think, I think still okay. Still okay, okay? He used his hand. He clean. Yep. Okay. He swipe it on the wall. Oh. <laughs> gross lah, gross lah. But you can see why lah, I guess. if He probably thinks it's not that much or something like that, right? So on, on one hand, uh, one guy is like, dude, go to the toilet and see the thing I built, right? Yeah. On the other hand, this guy brought it to the grave, okay? It's just that when he go out, somebody go in. Oh, I saw. And saw. And, and that guy say, oh, this guy caught sight on the wall. And it broke that guy down, right? Yeah. His oh. entire social life in secondary school. I, to this day, I don't know whether he really did because he, he said no. Lah. Right. Yeah. Oh. Um, but the guy that, that crossed path with him and saw and like saw him a bit yeah. nervous when he saw him, says. Is that, I don't know, but whatever it is, that guy was so effect, affected by it, right? His entire secondary school, like I tried to still make friends with him because I also not say very like the popular kid, right? So like we try to adopt more and more people that kind, right? And <laughs> he just couldn't open up to people. He he became ultra defensive, always feel like people want to bully him. Are you so putty? Yeah. Yeah. So I always feel, I, I also think about that guy. I just I just talked to him like last month. In Polly, right, I had a friend who was so obsessed with like getting attention from her crush, right? That she would faint. Huh? On purpose. Oh. Like, hey, that works, eh? Like, no. And <laughs> her faint, right? It's not like that. It's not like the fall down. Ah, then. Like that. She would faint like that straight down. Like, like yeah. during class. Bleed, uh. No, it's like, you know, like the Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never, yeah. yeah like never. He, fight, he, he, she, bam, her head hit the floor. Ah, right? oh but she come in, you know, she's like, and it's a damn loud marble floor. It was and like, you know she's faking it because? Actually, all this time, right? The first few times, I thought it was real. I thought she had a condition where she would faint. And I was very concerned everybody would fan her and whatnot. Yeah. Then one day, my close friend who is also close to her tell me like, she told me like, sometimes she, some some of her fainting is for fun. Right. <laughs> no, imagine right, you faint like that down, right? Straight, right? Nobody faints like that, right? Right? I don't know. I've never been No, no everybody <laughs> faint, right? Your legs will lose balance first, then you will kind yeah, of crumble. Yeah. But she's straight down. It's true, it's true, it's true. And she, then she, she hit the floor wow. It's like her skull, I hear her skull hit the marble and she's still like that. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, as in the crush came and like, oh my god, are you okay? Then I just stand there like that, like I like, oh my god, like why, why do you like resort to this kind of like tactics? Did it work? Did they get together? It worked for a while. Like she managed to like, like the guy pity her, like not, yeah. not, not pity her lah. Like the guy felt bad for her that he would let her like lie on the shoulder. Then she would like smile. She very happy. Like she smiled and like lie on his shoulder very happily. But yeah. I can tell like he's not okay. Like she wasn't aware lah. I think she really like love drunk. But it works though, it works though. Yeah. Like imagine like being a primary school boy, you would like straight away, yeah. if you didn't <laughs> notice her, you'd be like, oh my God, it's this like girl needs my your time to be main character. Exactly. But yeah. this is Polly. Polly yeah. Yeah. But oh, every guy crazy. wants to be. <laughs> 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 Polly, like imagine camera, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. And they're like, so tall now, so it really hurts eh. <laughs> you know like a primary school kid, probably would not that hurt. <laughs> no, Never fall from height. No, that day I was like, how you gotta take it this far? Like, how? How bad you got faint? In your primary school and secondary <laughs> school, or even your poly, right? Every clique always got this one, two girl. Uh, mm -hmm. Or guy uh, that claim they can see ghosts and then they're very sensitive and then they will... <laughs> <laughs> Does that not annoy the f*** out of you? That annoys the f*** out of me. Eh. But why is it real? But I believe though. 
I don't believe. Wait, you all have this person? I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't have. We had one time in, in primary school where the person who claimed that she could <laughs> see, right, suddenly turned white. Like the, the color of her lips also gone. <gasps> and then she started sweating and then she's like, there's, there's something there's something here. Mm. We all freaked the f- Like it's a middle of class, right? We all just ran out. Right. <laughs> scary or no, what? You yeah. see, that uh, to me, yeah. acceptable. <laughs> got but, other signs, uh. but there are some people, right, that will build up their own mystique. Like, oh, I can see. Since young, I can see. Okay. Then, you know, you all go to this park or what, right? They'll be like, oh, eh, there you go. Or what? <gasps> it's the, but you know, they- Oh, that's uh, scary. Yeah. Yeah. So they just want okay, to spook okay, okay. you and then what you get at the end result, right, is that, hey, is there any around me? Mm. So I I give you some form of a guru position, you know what I mean? Yeah, you feel some form of power la, and attention. Yeah, mm. which I feel like that irritating. La. Then like, oh, I'm very used to it. That's why I'm not scared. Yeah, there got so many, there got so many. But then when it comes time to AA, about to attract attention a bit, right? Then they will just, ah, they kind of, ah, that much. I feel like these things are important. These are just one example. It, it's just, it kind of to tie back like what John Paul mentioned, right? That all it takes is just this one, two rumors or like people deciding that they don't like you and then creating these rumors, right? I feel like in primary school, you need to develop this importance so that no one wants to mess with you. Then, right, like the bullies won't touch you. Whereas you are the vulnerable kind, the quiet kind, no matter whether got reason to make fun of you or not, right, they will find something on. Like it was my height, la, my lips, la, my umpy hair. La. Mm. <laughs> or you have to do something <laughs> great. One epic thing. Uh, and then you are just for the rest of your, your primary school life, right, you are known as that guy. Mm. Like what? Like prison, uh? No, like <laughs> no. Honestly, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. oh, hey, he's the one that like half, like, half like recess, right? He jump the fence. He go play. He go play land. Yeah, Aww. you know that kind. Then enough already. Then that won't fly in my school. That's half of us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that puts you in the average. <laughs> no wonder the guy built the shit tower. I think he wanted yeah, to really stand do. up. You know? like all of our pants, all of our pants, a lot of the pants all ripped at the back one because we all got caught by the barbed wire and tents. Ah, go back school. <gasps> Yeah. You see, it's similar to the shit guy, right? No one wants to mess with that guy because you don't. He, yeah, if he uh, dares to touch his shit, right? He dares to throw he it. At sure, he's done. No, but we all <laughs> we kill his ass every day, dude. <laughs> oh, right. Do we? We friend friend, like literally, because so many people are grossed out by him, right? But my class so small, mm. and he. I mean, he's nice to talk to. Quite quite funny, <laughs> and we are on the inside of his inside joke. He's not throwing shit, us. He's like, I built a shit. Go and see, you know. So we play him one and he was still my phone. Eh. That's crazy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what now he's developing young minds is how many. It's how much we need teachers in Singapore. It would have been funny <laughs> if he became an architect and he really is building the skyscrapers of today. It started from there, but okay. Okay. Yeah. There are also a few of these people that are just complete outliers. Like nobody really connect with them. They're just on their own kind. After <laughs> like after school, you see them. <laughs> These are real ones. Huh? Guy who dog shit and run over. Why? <laughs> then all the buses, right? All the schools going out. Then they all just see him running with dog shit. <laughs> you do what? Because he live nearby. Huh? To go where? Go home. <laughs> so he just hold dog shit and run. Then all the buses shit? going out. Everybody just see him running. But why your dog shit? I don't know. He could take from nearby. Oh, you know his oh. dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's there's a few dogs just outside. It's the Scully Music School. school. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're sure his mother does sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> there are these random people. Then there's the guy that is just like, during recess, we all close the windows, right? So teachers yeah. cannot look into the classroom. Off all the light. Yeah. Then we play like Taiti, gamble a bit. Then there's just this one the guy who will just, he will join us and play, but he's only wearing his boxers and he's jacking off. As he <laughs> yeah, and we don't understand. And until now, I never processed that. <laughs> yeah. Like, there are these outlier people. The only weird shit, I guess, like, I'm, like my friends do is like, they used to train their dick strength. I told you before. <laughs> What's happening in boys' school? So ah? <laughs> the <shit is> Nothing <laughs> to do, I tell you. So I they feel like you should just tell everybody what's going on. They sit at the so back. They, don't don't know. Know. <laughs> they sit at the back of the class. Then they stack like a bunch of textbooks, right, on their pants, right. <laughs> then they. Okay, bro, look. <laughs> I look at them. Then I'm like, why? What? What? Then he lean back. Eh. Then suddenly I see his stack of books, right, doing this. <laughs> oh my god! Like, then I'm like, what this- the. F- then he said dick training. Wait, that's James <laughs> Strong though. <laughs> then he could continue class. <laughs> you know what? Like speaking of dick, like do you all notice that like, when your male teachers got bonus, then like they have to like, they cannot stand straight on. They were like, try and sit down or they try and like hide with the boot. I cannot relate. No, we don't yeah, know. Yeah, I never, yeah, why? Cause you we were like, hey, Mr. Mm, got bonus, yeah, look at him. Like he cannot walk properly. Then like we make fun of him. Huh. Don't make oh. me the way you You all go to school and then you just look at female teacher's dicks. Uh. <laughs> it's wrong to look at your female teacher's private parts. Uh. So it's like the male one. Then uh, after that, we'll go and like, oh, so you're today Mr. 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 This guy got, got bonus. Uh, f-ing obvious. I also realized how gross it was. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm the weird one. No, I also realized how gross it was because in all boys school, right? 
Then, you know Valentine's Day, this kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Or like, you can tell when like, some students like, have a crush on the teacher kind of like, yeah. the female teacher kind. Then, but I, at the same time, I also think that the, the teachers confirm no. And they like, in some ways, are like milking it on it. Yeah, yeah. Or they will take tripping. advantage of it. Yeah. Oh, how? Gross, yeah. I guess there, there must be teachers that know that they are somewhat good looking, at least in a teacher standard. For sure. Oh. It's more important for them than the other not so good looking teachers, right? Mm-hmm. That they must look good every day to go to school. Yeah, no, but I also feel that the not so good looking teachers, sometimes when they need shit to be done, they will ask the good looking teachers to be the, the yeah, message yeah, 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 deliverer. Yeah, yeah. And right. for the students, right? Whenever we got um chem or whatever, we will always ask the good looking teachers to be the stay in chaperone. Mm. Everyone's just happier, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's yeah. just happier. It's win, win, win. Yeah. There was one time my principal, ch- there was a switch. La. So last time it was a lady, then it changed to a guy. Then he's a very Better, right? attractive Young looking guy. Thing. Oh, handsome. Yeah. You and like, then uh. suddenly, right, the discipline in our school, like a bit better. Then got one time he started scolding us, like, uh, scolding the whole assembly hall because some people did something bad. Then he say, you think you can tuck out your shirt like this? Then he, when he leave, right, he like do the K-pop, you know, like you leave yeah. and then show apps because he was, <laughs> he's, like, he's like principal and PE teacher. Yeah, so. yeah. Then he leave out, can see the apps, right? Then the front row, all the girls, <laughs> 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 Everybody was like, okay, we know talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would think the opposite is true. But then he like tried to maintain, you know. He knows that the girls scream, but then he, he like, yeah, it's not okay to write, to leave her. Yeah. <laughs> then he holds his mic like that. <laughs> It is that disgusting, eh? Yeah. No, it's accident. Accident. Sure. Like, you know, you you you, you faster tuck up, but then it somehow kind of stuck at yeah. the anger to see your apps. From that day on, right, I think he go to work differently already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I would think if I was f***ing disgusting, so this guy. If I was a girl in that school, I would purposely want to get sent to the principal's office. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you look very disciplined me. Then you look at his boner again. Yee. Come on out then. Why am I the <laughs> real one in this? I feel like as a guy, you were, so. <laughs> <laughs> possible possible <laughs> you put your underwear out of your, your shorts also. that's also the worst like wow, the easiest to get made fun of is like whenever you go pee right then you didn't realise that your underwear went over your shirt then like everyone just goes eee do they wear blue underwear uh? they wear blue hey no <laughs> <laughs> I think you're holding them for I feel like in in hmm? primary secondary school right it's like a carnal scene to have someone know that like you like that person. It's the biggest cock block, mm. eh. Like then they get, eh, the kind of thing, uh. which I feel like make me worse off as a person, eh. Oh, is it? I because feel like it helps, eh, sometimes. It makes you don't want to do the nice thing. Or like your, your thing drop off the table, how you pick up. No, but it's even worse if the girl that dropped it is the girl that you like. Then you both pen also have to do it and then the girl think that you damn rude to her. Then you will overthink it. Yeah. So you actually won't even help. You pretend that nothing happened, no? <laughs> eh, open, no? I, I become a caveman. <laughs> Fire. I think in primary to secondary school, right? Socially labeled as gross, but it's actually supposed to be acceptable is uh, moustache. Like, especially the first instance, the first batch. Maybe right? not for Chinese guys, lah. But the first batch <laughs> that they keep forever because they get to shave or something. You know that one? Also, oh, their, the BB hair. Their, their mother uh, haven't buy shaver yeah, for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, right. To me, it's gross, but I, I it's actually it's for okay. like two years, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see these kids have poor things, yeah. They're trying to like a master oh, sergeant or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Avoiding the inevitable, <laughs> you know. I know, armpit hair. What? It was a huge thing, yeah, in my primary school. No, like a lot of people think it's gross, ma, but I think it's acceptable. But then because in secondary school, like I Chinese dance, they need to like lift up the hands. Then normally the outfit oh. is like got mm. hole. Then at first I wasn't aware, I just like whatever. Then my friends were like, guys, like, like one day I see her in the toilet doing this with foundation, like mm. before our performance. Then I'm like, eh, why are you putting foundation on your armpit? Then she say like, oh, cause the front row got sex fire. I read Pisces, like later they say my armpit black. As opposed to shave? Oh, oh, because the armpit black. Yeah, it's not even, it's like, Stops. just the armpit area, right. you know? As you puberty, then maybe got the dot, dot, dot. So she want cover. So like foundation to like, almost like bleach it. Yeah, so I follow her. Then I like, okay, then I start the <laughs> foundation. Cause suddenly I see like, eh, suddenly I notice like, oh, oh. Here a bit like got line. Well, he has so many Adam and Eve moments. That's why it started like the whole like girls should have like shave up. Because like guys, we really celebrated. Like I remember in <laughs> like, like in, in primary six, right? Um, we had wow, PE. Yeah. And then, I'm here at primary six. That's wild. I, I didn't, but we were oh. all changing in the classroom. Then uh, one of my friend, right? He was the, always on. Uh, he's the fastest to mature about anything. The first time to break his voice. Suddenly he lifted up, right? And he had one strand on his right armpit. And then like all of us, like one saw. Then everyone was like, hey. Then everyone, right? Then we all just saw. 
Justin got unpaid hair. Then we all just started celebrating. Like, <laughs> like yeah. So awesome. Yeah, it was crazy. It feels like a Thai ad almost. <laughs> if I think about it. Wow. My personal take on it, right? That for some reason, right? I think the weird ones have a tendency sometimes to be the ones that later on like shine and very, you know, very different but successful in their own ways. Like, you know, Princess Diaries. Sure. Yeah, it's like, I guess. Let's not I pretend that the way it wasn't hot. When she was <laughs> <laughs> Before the makeover, I thought she damn hot already. Like. <laughs> we were shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I feel like when you're young that time, right, you don't anyhow burn bridge. Uh. Yeah. Don't go and like bully people too much or that. If but, anybody want helping hand out, you try to be kind. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Later on, you don't know one. Sometime, right, the girl look a bit weird, but later, later become chobu or the guy become them handsome. It's true, it's true. Yeah. Ah, so just be win. kind. Or maybe, yeah, you don't know, but they are the son of some prince from don't know where, Brunei or what. Uh. No, but it's the worst. <laughs> sometimes it's the bullying that's the catalyst for them so to like make it in life. Evolve. Uh. Yeah. And mm. so then it, because of you, they became successful. Okay, so according to Dan, if you want to listen to him, bully. Don't. No. I was a victim of bullying. To some extent, I do feel it's necessary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really do feel it's necessary. No, I feel like if it doesn't affect you, right, and they, them being weird is just in their own bubble, it's fine. If they start showing you the tower of shit, you know, affecting you, yeah. I think maybe, yes, I'll bring it up. Like, why do you show me this? <laughs> I no. think it's okay to be weird as a child. Like, then yeah. the, the universe will give you what you need. Sometimes in too much doses, you know, then yeah. you get a bit depressed by it and whatnot. But the universe will give you what you need to try and correct you, to normalize you into society. Where I draw the line uh, is that, what if the teachers are the weird ones? I remember when I was sec five already, it means we were all fairly mature. We were all 17 already. And then we got this teacher that's a bit off one. And he would come in and he would, I mean, his face is a bit off already. You know what I mean? He looked like, um, like Min Pao Chauren, that kind, like with red cheeks and his head is enormous, the glasses enormous, that kind. And, but it's okay, but he was teaching us a subject that was not important to my class, like CME, that kind of one. But he teach CME, right? He can teach until he f- cry one day. And then <gasps> he just cried, but he was shout. And then he shout, when he shout, angry, his tears come out. But this kind of thing is like, man cannot control. Right? If you are born like that, you are just born like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your whole face red and then your tears come out, but you're supposed to be angry, not sad. And then you do that, then after that, everybody tired because everyone feels a little bit, everyone knows there's something off, you know? So everyone's like, hey, Chir, don't cry, we're just talking. Right? Kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, there's just no good way to say it. Yeah. And the whole class just laugh and laugh. <laughs> everyone's trying to console the teacher, but we are in the worst class, so we f- illiterate, right? <laughs> so we don't know how to form proper words that sounds like nice. <laughs> then the teacher would just laugh, tremble, and the tears just come out. Then they just leave there after the principal or the DM come in, ask what happened. Then we're like, like, I'm cool, like, Raman do this. Then after that, he can ask Gordon. Then after he say, hey, what's that? Then he cry. You know, then like, then the teacher feels f***ing ghastly, but that's exactly what happened. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It feels like the teacher cried for such a menial things because what, the part that makes him cry the most, right? The yeah. like, the more, the more anger tears yeah. was when the class tried to console him. Yeah. So, like, so that part, that part was not part of the report, you see? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. report is what made him shout, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the turnover rate for teachers in your school yeah, is really high. No, yeah. it's really insane. It's really insane. No, anyway, I'd like to apply, so I apologize to all these teachers. No, my friend had a teacher who was actually a very nice guy. But then got one day, right? He, Whitney Houston died, right? So he came in and he was like, don't talk to me. Whitney Houston died today. Then like, yeah. as he was like teaching, then suddenly he started crying. At the oh song, my. he like me. Why well, he wears so much in my class? <laughs> yes, sir. He will be so ghastly. <laughs> Why? Like, Why can't I don't like know. No, sometimes like emotionally overwhelmed teachers, maybe, you know? There yeah, are people too, huh, but we don't yeah, see we them, yeah. them that way when yeah. we are kids. Uh, yet, right? Like somehow, even though you're so young and you're not like, emotionally like intelligent yet right but you can sense the teacher's feelings on right? can like, sometimes it's like, like like because mine was like all boys school so then the male teachers have this ego and this like um machismo kind of like yeah. vibe that they yeah. need to carry right but some of them a bit short a bit nerdy because they also nerd one master study yeah. science teach science right? then they come in this fella one <laughs> He looked very funny here, okay? He looked like an elf or some shit. <laughs> wow. He's small size. Then he came by, he, but he talked like that. Then he tried to be as large oh. as possible. But he's like one five something or something. Like the, like the Malaysian comedian, the doctor. Jason Leong. Le- Jason. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. He really tried very hard. Then sometimes like, you can see his lip tremble because he like 
being shaken by the he's holding back of the students. <laughs> uh. yeah. Then he no choice already. He raised his voice and he shout at you. Kind of. But he lose already. And you can see his ego shatter. Yeah. Even yeah. though you're kids, but you can see, you know, then you feel a bit sorry for him. But at yeah. the same time, because 35 against one ref. Then then you can, you can see the fire in their eyes die out. Eh? Mm-hmm. Like their passion for teaching, right? Yeah. It's totally gone. Because like, wow, maybe they took a pay cut here or they purposely born or they purposely choose your Raba school. They volunteered to teach your Raba yeah. class. Come on, give you a chance. They thought they can, but then they couldn't and then they traded their career for it. And then sometimes, right, you just ask them one question related to their subject, right? Then because they're so passionate about it, then they light up also. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. really passionate about explaining to you why E equals to MC squared or something. Yeah. You know? They don't know. <laughs> Nobody understands the equation, by the way. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any other confessions you want to send to us, Anything weirder than this, please feel free. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. I think the most disgusting thing I did, right, is um, you know, there's some pen. So like uh the not the big, the the pilot has one, and then the oh I can't remember the brand city, but they basically at the top right, they have a bit of a hole one. Uh-huh. So like I used to basically scrape my my black hits, like my <laughs> white hits, and then it will just come out, like the whole thing will just be filled with white hits, and then I smell. Damn mm. shook. Actually, everything I scratch out, I smell. <laughs> Have you scratched out? Even I dig up, I dig up no shit from my nose, right? You I smell? will smell it just to make sure. <laughs> e- <laughs> no. I like to smell things. Yeah, really. you, you scratch your balls? I'm a smeller. Smell. I don't no. Have you smelled the your toe, big toe near the side? The, the, you not dig up not the thing, put yeah, the toenail yeah. out of the nose, no, no, no dig- but when I cut a toenail, right, you then smell? the toenail dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it looks damn dirty, yeah. I would smell. Is that, is that tall, right? <laughs> so, that is, I, I was like, how oh, is that part of me? I think, <laughs> I think that's the smelliest part of anyone's body. Oh, what is it? It's an accumulation of, <laughs> of sweat, then your so- sometimes yeah. the, got a bit of the cotton inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you also nice think about, like, we all eat different things, but our shit look the same. <laughs> 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 That's crazy, yeah. yeah.